This lunar lift marks your personal new year, a fresh start that will become increasingly real between now and October 20th, Aries full moon. Give your dreams a six month trajectory and start making moves. See, that sounds cool. An important inventory to take this week. Are the people around you supporting your dreams or discouraging you, even subtly? On Friday, April 9th, your ruling planet, Mars, locks into a befuddling square with hazy Neptune, driving up confusion and mixed messages. It's true that Aries tend to rush into things headlong and headstrong, and some of those raised eyebrows your actions have provoked may have been duly earned. <laughs> While it's never a bad idea to look both ways before leaping, your nature is to blaze trails. You've been doing it your whole life. By now, you're used to the overprotective types getting nervous at news of your grand adventures. Being an Aries sounds kind of fun. <laughs> okay, so with forthright Mars in Gemini and your communication sector, you'll be tempted to share prematurely or even to overshare. But the harsh beam from dodgy Neptune in Pisces and your 12th house of the subconscious could trigger deep insecurities and doubt. That's the last thing you need when you're on a mission, Rev. Monitor your mindset. Be vigilant about what you take in because someone's skeptical voice could become the voice in your head clipping away at your willpower and resolve. Oh. Balancing between your logical left brain and your intuitive right will help settle this Mars-Neptune square. If you find yourself overthinking this week, take some time out to meditate, journal, or get out in nature, so you can tune into your inner guidance. On the other hand, if you're drifting into an unrealistic terrain, pause to map out a budget and timeline and to get some sound advice. Talk to experienced people who can set aside their emotions and help you think it all through objectively. That's some sound advice there. Did any of that mean anything to you guys? Carol, Jill, Louisa? Okay, let's move on to week two. Week two. April 12th to 18th, your next big step. Well, now that you've had your big new moon moment, where do you go from here? This week helps you start playing out possibilities. But things come to an intense accumulation, culmination, on Saturday, April 17th. A day that features two major planetary alignments. A Sun-Saturn 90 degree square and a fast-flowing 120-degree trine between Energizer Mars and Supersizer Jupiter. Everything from your visionary ideas to your most entrenched power struggles can crescendo quickly. That sounds like a lot. Let's start with the square between the airy sun and power monger is in Capricorn, and your 10th house of career, public image, and authority. 
there are two Sun-Pluto squares every year and this one brings you face to face with the ways you may resist being told what to do. While you respect a strong alpha leader, you're no beta. If somebody rules or no, if somebody's rules or protocols don't make sense, there's no way you'll simply fall into lockstep. This Saturday, you may need to negotiate the delicate balance of asserting your opinions and not undermining others in the process. Keep your ego in check and prepare to navigate around people pulling rank. Note, you or another person might be trying to force a self-serving agenda. It's very ominous. Has your life gotten too routine? This shake-up can actually help. The Sun-Pluto square could put you in touch with your own transformational powers, reminding you of your deeper purpose, as well as your need to express it. You'll get a big surge from Saturday's Mars-Jupiter trine, a global megaphone for your visionary message, as these bold and pioneering planets connect in the most people-centric parts of your chart. Collaborators and supporters could crop up from all directions, bring on the thought and fellow trailblazers. If you have a message to share, it could spread like wildfire, especially through your network of fans and friends. Making a big ask? Don't be shy about posting on social networks. Stay open to new ideas or input from people who may see things lens than yours. I don't know if I would be posting on social networks about that kind of thing, but they... watch your temper though, because both of this week's transits could activate your anger, which is already easily triggered when sensitive buttons get pushed. You may feel rushed into making a decision or you could be the one pressuring someone into partnering up. Well, okay, that's a big week. It sounds exhausting to be an Aries. Week 3, April 19th to 25th. Plan your work and work your plan. Get ready to settle down a bit this week. On Monday, April 19th, the sun departs your sign and shifts into Taurus, putting its focus on building, practical planning, and financial stability. Did Aries season spark some creative or novel ideas? Now you can get busy turning the best of the bunch into concrete plans, while El Sol is in steady Taurus, you'll win by taking a step-by-step -step approach to any project. Patience and sustained effort will be necessary, so watch out for your tendency to lose interest and chase after the next bright and shiny thing. This isn't a time to rush into uncharted waters or go deep on get-rich-quick schemes. Aim for long-term stability and gold standard investments. Your payoff won't happen overnight, but when it does, it'll be worth the wait. Now the time to set clear and simple intentions and take the first steps. Trust the momentum. 
trust that momentum will build slowly and steadily. A prudent approach in the year of the metal ox as well. Trust that momentum will build slowly and steadily. A prudent approach in the year of the metal ox as well. Mm, I don't know what the metal ox is. Okay. Home is where the heat is. April 24th, as feisty Mars, your ruling planet, enters emotional cancer and your home and family zone until June 11th, as forthright Mars exits your communication center, you may find yourself forced to face some hurt feelings or sullen silences. Oh, that sounds so the key to maintaining harmony at Chateau Aries. Harness the pent-up Martian energy into more physical activity. Make sure you get out of the house when cabin fever and frustration start to build. Take inspiration from Aries actor Kate Hudson, whose workout mantra is break a sweat every day. Invite relatives or roommates for a bike ride or to tackle a gardening project if you have an outdoor space. It could break the tension and keep anger from boiling over. Mars likes to keep busy, so you may be motivated to start a home-based business or launch some household improvements. Try rearranging the furniture with an eye to creating better flow. You may even want to give our Feng Shui course a whirl. If you end up with enough space to dance around the living room, so much the better. Considering a move, the next few weeks are perfect search. Any of you guys wanting to move soon? <laughs> okay, let's go on to week number four. So we have April 26th to the 30th. A fitting finale. The month comes together with a grand flourish on Monday, April 26th. When the annual Scorpio full moon pierces the depths of your intimate, powerful eighth house, something that's been hidden could come into stark view, possibly even from the depths of your own emotional well. This lunar moment could bring a huge release or transformation. If you've been moving toward a deeper commitment or merging your resources with someone, this could be a make or break point. Is it time to go all in instead of being semi-official? The eighth house rules extremes, so some Aries could officially part ways with a business or romantic partner, divvying up your assets and pursuing your separate paths. Everything is likely to feel supercharged by the full moon. But on Tuesday, April 27th, potent Pluto will start its annual five-month retrograde, giving you second thoughts. As transformational Pluto reverses through Capricorn, and your 10th house of career, long-term goals, and structure between now and October 6th. You may do some serious soul-searching about your future. You may have a few WTF, what the F am I doing with my life anyway moments, which will only be amplified by the current state of 
you're considering a reinvention of your professional path, the spring and summer stars support you taking your time to explore possibilities and dabble in new skill sets. You could already have one eureka moment on Friday, April 30th, when the confident sun and trailblazer Uranus make their once a year conjunction meet up. Under the electrifying connection in Taurus, they'll charge up your second house of work and money. This is a day to break out of the box and expect the unexpected. You may just find yourself building an offer you simply can't kind of all over the place. It sounds very emotional and up and down and left and right. I wonder if it's just like that for Aries or if it's like that for everyone. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so love and romance. Enjoy your spring fever, Aries. Love planet Venus is in your sign from March 21st to April 14th. Oh, just a few more days. Giving you the it factor for the first half of the month. It's a perfect nudge from the universe to test drive a whole new look, or at least a hairstyle or wardrobe refresh. You'll be feeling especially autonomous right now and won't want anyone crumping your style or telling you what to do. With sexy, feisty Mars in Gemini until April 23rd, your communication sector is activated, making you flirty but a bit non-committal, especially with Venus in your sign and independent first house. Singles may be chatting with several prospects, preferring to keep things light. And because Mars has been here since March 3rd, you've probably accumulated a few flirty irons in the fire by now. This aggro energy could cause couples to argue more. You might be feeling especially prickly if a partner tries to encroach on your freedom or make excessive demands on your time especially if they're acting jealous or possessive. Can't an Aries get a little space without being accused of having a roaming eye? Oh, that sounds a bit tricky. The second half of the month gets a little more serious as Venus moves into Taurus and your stabilizing sensual second house on April 14th. You'll love the idea of more time together and could be open to nesting or doing coupley things like establishing some new romantic routines. With spring in the air, try shared activities out in nature, which can make you feel less claustrophobic. And when Mars settles into Cancer and your heart-centered domestic fourth house from April 23rd to June 11th, you could be the one getting all emotional and sensitive. If you're doing meet the parents and family members have been vaccinated, you might decide it's time to introduce a relatively new partner to your clan. Mars accelerates everything, so don't be surprised if talk turns to trading keys, moving in together, or even maybe baby. But remember, Mars also adds tension in equal measures, so watch out for too much time together in the later part of April. A complete 180 from the first half, let your mantra 
be this, all good things in moderation. Okay, so that was your love and romance. We have a little bit at the end that just gives a few dates. So, love days are the 21st and the 25th. Your money days are the 13th and the 4th. Your luck days are the 11th and the 2nd. And your off days are the 23rd, the 27th, and the 8th. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that the reading. It was very long. It felt very long. I think I've been filming for like, well, not filming. So moving on to Taurus, which is April 20th to May 20th, and for Taurus I have two patrons, one in April, on the 28th of April we have Georgie, so happy birthday Georgie, um, before the next month's one, your birthday will have already gone, so I hope you have a nice birthday. And then we have a May Taurus, which is Emma, on the 14th of May. So, let's have a little look at your monthly snapshot for April. Ease into April, Taurus. This is a transitional month for you because the first three weeks mark the end of your personal solar calendar. The sun is moving through Aries and your 12th house of closure and healing and your batteries could feel depleted. If that's the case, don't force yourself to rally. This is your annual time to rest and regroup before Taurus season begins on April 19th. Focus on tying up loose ends and savor some self-care. Work could also keep you busy thanks to Go Better Mars in Gemini and your financial house through April 23rd. Pace yourself and keep reprioritizing so you can save your truly productive hours for the projects that matter most. Once Taurus season does begin, you'll emerge from that belated hibernation ready to take on the world. Enjoy a full month to celebrate your birthday season. With Mars moving into Cancer and your social third house on April 23rd and a partnership focused Scorpio full moon on April 26th, you'll have plenty of good options for friends who can celebrate safely that sounds quite nice. It's a nice monthly snapshot. Okay, let's scroll down, 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 into the love and romance section. Okay, if you guys want to check out your week to week, the link is down below. It's on l.com, the horoscopes from the Astro Twin. So indulge in a fantasy or take a break with Venus in Aries and your hazy 12th house of illusions from March 21st to April 14th. The first half of the month could find you taking nostalgic trips down memory lane one minute, then simmering in a stew of complicated emotions the next. 
a word to the wise, slow down and ramp up the self-care It's so hard to surrender, to recognize that we can't control others' behavior or force an outcome to go our way. One good practice to antidote that is focusing on accepting past, present, and even future partners for who they are rather than projecting your expectations of what you want them to be or of who you want them to be. On April 14th, Venus, your ruler, enters Taurus, putting you back in touch with your sensual superpowers and self-worth. Shake off all those moody and heavy vibes and put the spotlight back on numero uno. Juge your look, give your wardrobe a refresh and enjoy admiration without an agenda or an apology. With lusty Mars in Gemini, and your practical second house until April 23rd. You may be busy with work projects and financial responsibilities. Money stress could disrupt the harmony of your household, causing partners to squabble. Long work hours or a demanding project may also distract you, which could actually be a good thing if you're out of sync. When Mars moves into Cancer and your communication zone from April 23rd to June 11th, couples can have productive dialogue provided you don't get combative or need to be right about everything. Let them get a word in edgewise too. Single bulls could have fun flirting and exploring a variety of different prospects without locking yourself into anything serious. Okay, so let's have a little look at your days. So we have your love days, the 23rd and the 27th. Your money days, the 16th and the 6th. Your lucky days, the 13th and the 4th. And your off days, the 11th, 25th and the 2nd. Okay, so that was for my Tauruses, Georgie and Emma. So now on to Gemini. I have quite a lot of Geminis in my patrons, or I have quite a lot of Gemini patrons, that's better. (laughs) So in May, we have Kelly on the 21st of May. We have Lindsay on the 28th of May. We have then three June Geminis, Emma on the 2nd of June, Stephanie on the 13th of June, and Hannah on the 17th of June. And then um, we have two subscribers that commented on last month's video. We have Rachel J, who was born on the 26th of May, And then we have Rachel S, who was born on the 29th of May. So two Rachels, two days apart, three days apart, sorry. So they are real Geminis. (laughs) They're like twins from far. Okay, so let's look at your monthly snapshot, guys. Okay, so back with your people again. 
with the sun in Aries and your social group centric 11th house until April 19th. Your people starved butterfly side could finally get a reprieve. While safety has to come first, of course, seek out channels for reconnecting with kindred spirits and sparking up a spring-summer collaboration. This digitally dynamic cycle also heats up your virtual zone. Find ways to get your message to the masses through social media, online offerings and tech platforms. It will be hard to hold yourself back from saying yes to everything at least while Go-Getter Mars is blazing through Gemini until April 23rd. Since March 3rd, the red planet has been racing through your sight, heating up new initiatives and getting you excited to make a fresh start. That sounds good. It's like spring, start up, you know. Stress levels may have spiked as well, and if you haven't crashed at least a couple of times from biting off more than you could chew, well, we'd be surprised. Regulate your energy, especially once Taurus season begins on April 19th. That will set off a month-long sleepy spell as the sun travels through your 12th house of rest, closure, and healing. Tie up loose ends in anticipation of Gemini time and your birthday, which you'll want to begin with a clean slate. Okay. Let's go and have a look at Love and Romance, okay, Kelly, Lindsay, Emma, Stephanie, Hannah, Rachel J, and Rachel S. Friendly Fire will heat up the first half of the month, followed by a more romantic and stabilizing end of April. Love Planet Venus is in Aries until April 14th, hanging out in your 11th house of technology and casual connections. There's a house of technology and casual connections. <laughs> okay, this could translate into more swiping or a greater desire to explore your options and get to know people on a slower, friendship basis. Never a bad idea. With lusty Mars in Gemini, you've got the it factor without even trying or trying much. You could attract a lot of intriguing people. Ironically though, this comes at a time when you're in the mood to explore with a burning desire for more independence and not to be fenced in. That could all change in the second half of the month as Vixen Venus enters Taurus and your enchanted 12th house April 14th to May 8th sweeping through that misty maze of fantasy and surrender connecting with someone on a deeper level becomes more intriguing or since the 12th house is the realm of release and healing, you could decide to let a situation go that's run its course. That doesn't have to mean a breakup. You might decide to stop trying to force an outcome or just enjoy a person or your current romantic scenario just as it is, allowing the universe to guide the way. The new attitude of radical acceptance could
could really pay off, as you'll be able to see what is instead of fixating on what you think should be. On April 23rd, Mars blazes into Cancer, and your security-driven second house. Suddenly, your urge for independence might give way to a stronger desire for stability and certainty. In fact, between now and June 11th, you could make a 180 degree pivot from I need space to so where is this thing going? For single Geminis, it's a great time to boost your confidence. Choose your wardrobe and add more sensuality to your life. Be the change you want to see in your romantic life by creating the conditions you want to enjoy with a partner. Why wait for a prospective lover to show up? to light those candles, prepare a gourmet meal, or open the good bottle of wine. Indulge in that ambiance now. Whether you're by yourself or with a good friend, like attracts like. So set the energetic field to call your days. So your love days are the 25th and the 7th. Your money days are the 8th and the 18th. Your luck days are the 16th and the 6th. And your off days are the 13th, 27th and the 4th. Cancer. So in that Patreon, I have two patrons, one June and one July. And Nathan on the 29th of June is actually a new patron. So hey, hey Nathan. Um, then we have Michelle on the 7th of July. Now, on the comment section, or in the comment section of last month's video, we have Jessica on the 26th of June, so just before Nathan, and then we have Andalina on the 21st of July, so she is our latest Cancer. So, Nathan, Michelle, Jessica, and Adelina. That's a nice name. Okay, so your monthly snapshot. Set your sights on those lofty goals, Cancer. The sun is in Aries until April 19th, heating up your 10th house of career and ambition. Keep your eyes on the prize and your priorities and don't get distracted from your mission. Your professional goals take center stage now, but don't forget to rest. With Energizer Mars powered down in Gemini and your slow jamming <laughs> and your slow jamming 12th house until April 23rd. That's cool you have a slow jamming house. Your batteries can deplete easily. Make sure to take ample breaks between your power meetings and Zoom marathons. You may be letting go of one part of your life while simultaneously building out another. Luckily, you'll get by with a little help from your friends after April 19th. When the sun starts its month-long stint in Taurus and your 11th house of group activity, 
make a special effort to safely circulate so you can network with new people, build your power team, and spend your time developing the ideas that inspire you. That sounds pretty cool. Sounds like it's going to be a good month for you guys. Okay, so let's have a little look at love and romance. For the first half of the month, Venus is in Aries on your 10th house of leadership and long-term goals. Casual isn't cutting it. You know, you want to know where things are going. And you may already have some very specific ideas about this. Single but seriously looking? Stay open to people who you don't normally think of that way. It's within the realm of possibilities that you fall for a person you meet through work or other or another professional connection. Then from April 14th to May 8th, the flirtatious love planet will relocate to Taurus and your 11th house of friendship and looser connections. Sparks could fly with someone you meet online or through mutual friends. Some crap will feel like keeping things informal, preferring to be free or enjoy more time safely hanging out with a small group instead of getting intensely romantic. With lusty Mars in Gemini and your internally focused 12th house, your libido may be in low power mode until April 23rd, so don't feel guilty if you aren't that much in the mood for loving. If you're dealing with the end of an affair or relationship, Give yourself time and space to process the emotions, including grief, that come up for you now. Oh, that sounds a bit sadder. Okay. Spring fever could kick in later this year, but don't worry. Okay, like, spring fever could kick in later this year, but don't worry, it's coming. Red Hot Mars is in Cancer from April 23rd to June 11th, and you'll sense your flirty, passionate side returning with a vengeance. Mars only visits your sign every two years, and when it does, you suddenly begin attracting a lot of attention, which in turn boosts your confidence and charisma. Ready for a fresh start or just to fly free? Start thinking about that now because you may have a big decision to make. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so what are your guys' days? Love days are the 27th and the 4th. Your money days are the 11th and the 21st. Your luck days are the 18th and the 8th, and your off days are the 16th, the 2nd, and the 6th. Okay, so that was for Nathan, Michelle, Jessica, and Adelina. Let's move on to Leo. Okay, so now for the Leos including myself. So we have Issy in the Patreon. Issy on the 4th of August. Myself on the 8th. We also have Abby on the 19th of August. So we are three August Leos. And then in the comments of last month's video, we have Jess on the 28th of July. So we do have a July Leo. Um, 
there was someone who commented saying they were a Leo, but didn't leave a date. So I'm just gonna say Renee and her daughter are Leos too. So this is for us. It is the monthly snapshot. Okay. Widen your viewfinder, Leo. The new month puts you in adventurous spirits as the sun visits Aries and your ninth house of expansion and exploration until April 19th. While you may not be able to travel unrestricted, there are plenty of ways that can broaden your horizons within city limits. From tackling a new topic of study to launching an indie business venture, to publishing your ideas. You've got the urge to share and connect. And if you can find a way to safely vacation, even with a day trip or an Airbnb rental, Aries season would be the ideal time. Okay, won't be doing any of that here in France. You'll have no trouble finding a few curious companions to join you while Go-Getter Mars is in Gemini and your friendship zone until April 23rd. Teaming up with a cutting-edge collaborator on a project could also yield ingenious results. I'm actually thinking of doing a few collabs at the moment, so maybe I could be talking about that. If I want to put some meaning in there for myself. <laughs> okay, so things settle into a more grounded groove starting April 19th. When the sun slips into Taurus and your 10th house of career, long term goals, and structure for a month, it's an ambitious cycle but also a time to regulate your energy starting April 23rd when Energizer Mars powers down for six weeks in Cancer and your restful 12th house prioritize and conserve your resources for the stuff that matters when you're not busy taking over the world, indulge in exquisite self-care and indulgent breaks, ideally near water. Okay, let's skip over the weeklies, although I will be reading them for myself. <laughs> okay, so love and romance. Nothing less than big love is the goal with romantic Venus in Aries and your expansive nine house inspiring you to cast a wide net. Travel restrictions or not, a long distance spark could ignite and it will be one worth exploring. Couples may do something to bring the much missed novelty back to your bond. Like renting an Airbnb or taking a few day trips to explore new vistas, single Leos may not want to be tied down with Venus in the freedom seeking zone, so make the most of it. This energy is further fueled by Mars in Gemini and your casual, liberated 11th house until April 23rd. Since Mars can spark tempers as well as passion, some may feel, you may feel some friendly fire or prefer to keep something that's been heating up in the friend zone. On the dating apps, banter could turn racy. Don't do anything rash until you determine whether there's potential here. And this is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. On April 14th, Venus swings into Taurus and your future orientated 10th house throughout 
the second half of the month and into May. You're ready to make things much more official and set some new relationship goals. Single lions could meet someone through work or a colleague's international introduction. Take things one careful step at a time and not just because we're still in COVID era. Okay, slowing down is also the message of Mars in low power mode in Cancer and you're chilled out. 20th house from April 23rd to June 11th. This is also the zone of closure. So your mojo could be in slow-mo or you may be ending something or just ready to take a break. If you're considering or already involved in a clandestine affair, proceed with caution. Passion is like a drug. It can feel good in the moment, but you don't want to get so swept away in infatuation that you overturn all the stability of your life. Recognize the line between excitement and chaos and tread carefully if you're near it. That sounds intense. Doesn't sound like much to do with my life. (laughs) Okay, let's look at our different days. Um, love days are the 2nd and the 6th, money days the 13th and the 23rd, luck days the 11th and the 21st, and our off days are the 18th, the 4th and the 8th. Okay, so that was for Issy, myself, Abby, Jess and Renee and her daughter. So, let's move on to Virgo. Okay, so on to Virgo. Um, Last month, I didn't have anyone um, to read to in Virgo because none of my patrons, uh, none of my patrons, sorry, are Virgo. Uh, None of them that put their name up anyway. But we have Zoe um, from the comments subscriber Zoe on the 11th of September. So this one is for you. Okay, so the monthly snapshot. Hibernation is over for the rest of the world, but you're hanging out in that cocoon just a tad longer, Virgo. Until April 19th, the sun is in Aries and your private, intimate eighth house Your hermit side will prefer the company of a few ultra-close companions, if anyone at all. You could be immersed in a focused project with lots of details that consume your attention, but it's not all work and no play. With the sun in the sensual zone, a spring fling could turn into a sizzling connection. And yet your job will keep you plenty busy while go-getter Mars blazes through Gemini and your ambitious 10th house until April 23rd. Look for synergistic partners with complementary skills and strong connections that can bring your ideas to key decision makers. The saying, it's about who you know, will ring especially true now. Don't be shy about asking people in your network to return all the solids you've granted them. A trend that will continue when Mars blasts into Cancer and your 11th house of teamwork and technology from April 23rd to June 13th. You'll emerge from your bubble on April 19th, ready to seek out new horizons. That day, the sun moves into Taurus and your adventurous ninth house 
get ready to spread your wings and venture safely out into the world again, letting your curiosity lead the way. Okay, doesn't sound so bad. Let's go and have a look at love and romance. It'll be easy to catch a case of spring fever as amorous Venus sashays through Aries and your sizzling 8th house until April 14th where she's been since March 21st. If you're consumed with one particular person or a budding relationship, things could escalate to a super official level quickly, especially around April 11th, Aries New Moon. Single? You want the full mind-body-soulmate connection now. And yes, a side of strong sexual chemistry to go with that, please. Okay, this is just for the adults. I just realized that maybe some younger people are listening. Um, if you're like young teens, don't pay attention to this part. <laughs> okay, so with Mars in Gemini, and your ambitious 10th house until April 23rd, the idea of being a power couple is extra appealing. At the very least, you want to be with someone who's up to big things in their life. You may fall under the spell of an attractive person you meet through professional endeavors or someone who's significantly younger or older than you. Proceed, but with caution, especially if they're older than you. I added that part. <laughs> okay. That urge to merge could change in the second half of the month when Venus moves into Taurus and your worldly and unfettered ninth house from April 14th to May 8th. And then from April 23rd to June 11th energy will be underscored by Mars in Cancer and your free-spirited 11th house. You could pivot suddenly from obsessed to casual, not wanting to be tied down to anyone. Talk about a 180. So don't box yourself into anything too restrictive. Early this month, because the spring winds could carry you in a whole new direction. Okay, I'm just gonna go down to see what the days are for you, Zoe. So your love days are the 4th and the 8th, your money days the 16th and the 25th, and your luck days the 13th and the 23rd, and then your off days are the 11th, 21st, and the 6th. Okay, let's move on to the Libras. So, my patrons that are Libras, which there are four, are Janice on the 26th of September, Priscilla on the 27th of September, Rob on the 30th of September and we have one October Libra and that is Kelly on the 17th of October. So uh, Libra is from the 23rd of September to the 23rd of October. Just forgot to say that. Okay, so let's have a little look at your guys' monthly snapshot. Relationships are the key theme of the month as the sun travels through Aries and Taurus, heating up the two most partner oriented zones of your chart. Aries season, which lasts through April 19th, spotlights the balance and equity in your closest ties. Does everything feel like a mutual give and take? You might make a bond official or perhaps take 
a few steps back, depending on how easily you're able to work through any differences. It's wonderful to discover what we have in common with others, Libra. But the real test of your connection happens when you hit that inevitable dissonance. Places where your values and virtues don't overlap. As the natural ruler of the zodiac's seventh house, you prefer things peaceful and conflict-free. Don't run away from these golden opportunities to find richness in what makes you and another person totally unique. Be the lover, friend, colleague, or even a frenemy. With excitable Mars and Gemini, and your broad-minded ninth house until April 23rd, you could be extra curious about what makes another person tick. Viva la différence! Mars in this globe-trotting sector also gives you a case of wanderlust. So take any opportunity you can to safely get out of your comfort zone. Whether that's through traveling, educational adventures, or even test driving an idea for a startup business. When Mars moves into Cancer and your ambitious 10th house on April 23rd, you might spend the following six weeks turning one of those golden ideas into a viable business. Sounds pretty cool. Slip under the radar a bit starting April 19th when Taurus season spotlights your intimate and private 8th house. One special connection could heat up romantically or a joint money-making venture could have power drill written all over it. Craving some solitude for research, spiritual restoration, or deep emotional work? Hang the do not disturb sign without apology. Okay, let's have a look at love and relationships for you guys. Oh, it starts out well. Sizzle. A romantic month awaits as love planet Venus circulates through Aries and your committed 7th house until April 14th, then plunges into Taurus and your sensual intimate 8th house through May 8th. Focus on deepening an existing relationship or exploring a new connection that could have long-term potential. Note, you may have to take the lead in this. Don't rush in. Lusty Mars is in Gemini, and your adventurous, worldly ninth house until April 23rd, prompting you to explore your options and see what else could be out there. Even if you're in a long-term relationship, don't allow a partner to make you feel obligated or fenced in by doing too much couple stuff. True, you could feel pulled in two directions, but if you can live with uncertainty for now, you'll be rewarded in the not-so-distant future. You'll be eager to look at what the future holds starting April 23rd, the day that Mars moves into Cancer, and your 10th house of long-term plans and commitments until June 11th. Career will heat up, and it'll be more important to know what else you need to Holding space for in your life. 
like it's weird there are quotes around holding space. I feel like they didn't finish the art. Like, is that a mistake? Career will heat up and it'll be more important to know what else you need to holding space for in your life. I don't know, maybe it'll be like fight for or wait for. I don't know. I don't. Okay, and if you've considered and passed over all your options and are happy with the status quo, you'll want to know where things are going. Unattached or dissatisfied with your current situation, this might be the time you start looking for a more serious mate to plan your life with. You're more of a we than a me person. Libra, so honor your nature. Okay, so that was for you guys Janice, Priscilla, Rob, and Kelly. Your love days are the 6th and the 11th. Your money days are the 18th and the 27th. Your luck days are the 16th and the 25th. And your off days are the 23rd. The 13th. Okay, so now on to Scorpio. So, once again, I have no patrons that are Scorpios, or no patrons that put their name in the hat anyway. From October 24th to November 21st, but we do have one subscriber who commented. So, Alexa. November. So Alexa in November at some point before the 21st. So Scorpios. Okay, so your monthly snapshot cleanup time. For the first three weeks of the month, you're in major focus mode, bent on getting those nitty gritty details done. The sun is in Aries until April 19th heating up your sixth house of wellness and organization. All those little tasks that piled up over the winter are practically shouting your name and refusing to be ignored. Make your to-do lists and start crossing things off systematically. Yeah, I need to do that too. Be sure to delegate and outsource as much as possible. It's worth it to trade a little control and funds uh, for the satisfaction of a completion. Fueling your focus is your co-ruler, Mars, which is nestled in Gemini and your intense, intimate eighth house until April 23rd. As the eighth zodiac sign, you're the natural guardian of this house, so you may feel deeply in the zone for this cycle. It's a great time to get your finances and investments in order, or to plow through a project that requires serious attention to detail. You could also be a Scorpio on steroids with your natural tendency to notice every tiny facet of people dialed up to maximum. Watch out for tunnel vision, obsessing and jealousy. Harmonizing comes much more readily after April 19th when the sun shifts gears into Taurus and your partnership house for the month a month, sorry. Work on creating a more balanced give and take with your inner circle. If you're considering making things official with a business colleague or romantic interest for the next few weeks are a great time to objectively weigh the pros and cons. With the sun now in your opposite sign, you may be a bit more tired than usual, 
all the more reason to lean on your support system instead of trying to take on the world yourself the whole world yourself okay Alexa okay let's have a look at love and romance okay vacillating much I just checked that word up it means swaying between different things waving between different options okay vacillating much that's hardly surprising given that for the first half of the month through April 14th you're mired in your feelings one moment and stuck in your head the next. Venus is in your analytical sixth house, offering objective distance from your emotions and inspiring you to evaluate your romantic situation. You may be a bit critical of a partner or yourself. This sixth house is also your wellness zone, making this an especially good time for self-care and to tend to the overall health of your relationships. Meantime, Mars is marching through Gemini and your lusty, obsessive eighth house turning up a strong sexual attraction that's hard to resist. For some Scorpios, there's no reason not to pursue this, but if you're attached or are sensing red flags, hit pause and do some soul searching. This is an empowering cycle for getting in touch with your own sensuality and desires to strengthen the intimate part of a relationship. This charged Martian cycle can also dive up feelings of jealousy and fixation that can be detrimental to a relationship's health. If you find yourself in tunnel vision, tap the surplus energy of Venus in Aries and channel it into a project. Get out in nature or indulge in self-care. From April 14th to May 8th, Venus will be parading through Taurus and your partnership zone, making it much easier to find balance with your current amour or to attract a situation that has long-term potential. Venus helps you harmonize and adopt a more live and let live approach than a critical one, which is always a good thing. Mars shifts gears on April 23rd, revving into Cancer and your open-minded, expansive ninth house. From then until June 11th, it'll be easier to take a broader perspective, snap out of the funk, and see all the opportunities that await you, including a safe trip or simply getting out of your comfort zone. Take a chance on a new situation or person and let yourself be pleasantly surprised. Okay, so that was for you, Alexa. Let's check your days. Okay, your love days are the eight and the 13th. Your money days are the 21st and the 2nd. Your luck days are the 18th and the 27th. And your off days are the 11th, the 16th and the 25th. Okay, let's move on to Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, it's from November 22nd to December 21st and I have one patron and that is Monica. Hey Monica. And her birthday is on the 1st of December. So this is for you Monica. Your monthly snapshot. Welcome back to your vibrant self Sagittarius. 
with the sun in Aries and your fifth house of passion, self-expression and life force energy, your spring awakening is underway until April 19th, you're cosmically mandated to prioritize fun, which can be harder than it sounds at times, yes, even for a jovial archer. One Sagittarius friend of ours is attempting to firmly stick to a no work after 6 p.m. policy during Aries season, which began on March 20th. She admits that it's taken a lot of discipline to log out of Zoom and walk away from a pile of unfinished tasks, but she summons the energy to shut her laptop turn off email notifications, and whenever possible, go outside into the spring weather. Once she does, the creative juices start flowing. So, Sagittarius, no matter what you're doing, and that includes your daily work, check in. Are you feeling vibrant and inspired? Creativity charged or depleted? Stay attuned to the present moment and your emotional state. Make a conscious effort to seek novel experiences, even if they're in shorter supply. Move your body, take a break dance. <laughs> take a dance break, sorry, I read break dance. <laughs> Moments of genuine of euphoria await. I want to take a dance break. The fifth house also rules romance, and Aries season could spark up your love life. That's fueled by intensifier Mars, which is in Gemini, and your seventh house of committed relationships until April 23rd. Partnerships of all varieties can move toward official status or go past quickly. With a full tank, you'll be ready to tackle your tasks again. When the sun enters Taurus on April 19th, activating your sixth house of wellness and organization. Save any big spring fitness plans for Taurus season and focus on getting your joie de vivre back in the meantime. Okay, let's look at love and relationships. Okay. Hello, spring awakening. The love planets are conducting a major tour through the most romantic and passionate zones of your chart. For the first half of the month until April 14th, Venus is in Aries and you're passionate pleasure-centric fifth house. Mars will travel through your commitment zones, heating up the action in Gemini until April 23rd, and bringing both excitement and stress to a key partnership. When Mars moves into Cancer and your eighth house of eroticism, shared resources, and mergers, that's a strange name for a house, your eighth house of eroticism, shared resources, and murders. Okay, mergers, not murders, goodness. <laughs> and April 23rd to June 11th. Things could either heat up or hit a contentious breaking point. Whether you decide to go all the way in, call it quits, or do some intense work, your connection. Not much will be halfway now. You may need to manage your own moods and anger, and perhaps a jealous or vengeful urge or two. If you're parting ways, things could get heated as you divide up assets and financial entanglements. On the flip side, a strong sexual attraction could be impossible to resist while Mars is in Cancer. Then, on April 14th, 
beautifying Venus enters Taurus and your wellness zone, bringing her brand of sensible yet self-nurturing energy until May 8th. And just in time, if you're on the verge of burnout, this time out could help you reprioritize slowing down turning tasks into rituals and dialing up the self-care and stress management. You'll be glad you did once Venus rolls into your partnership house and calls you into action starting May 8th. Okay, that was for you, Monica. Let's have a look at your days. Your love days are the 11th and the 16th. Your money days are the 23rd and the 4th. Your luck days are the 21st and the 2nd. And your off days are the 13th, the 18th and the 27th. Okay, let's move on to Capricorn. So now for my Capricorns. On Patreon, I have three Capricorns. I keep mixing Patreon and Patreon. So on Patreon, I have three patrons that are Capricorns. And all January. So we have Kelsey on the 3rd of January, Manon on the 4th of January, Beth on the 15th of January. And then there was one comment on the last video from a subscriber. And I'm not sure if your name is Jordan or Elizabeth. Are you Jordan Elizabeth or Elizabeth Jordan? I don't know. And you're on the 2nd of January. So we have the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 15th. So this is for you guys. Hibernation isn't quite over yet for you Capricorn. Even though spring is in the air, the stars are spotlighting home and family until April 19th, as the sun moves through Aries and your domestic fourth house. Tend to your nest for the first three weeks of the month and make self-care a priority. Ready for a seasonal cleaning with Energizer Mars in Gemini. Activating your sixth house of health and wellness until April 23rd. It's time for an all around makeover slash under. If you start to feel like you're drowning in details or consumed by too many odds and ends, stop and breathe. Manage your stress level and try not to introduce too much change at once. If you're beginning a spring fitness plan, for example, make sure to warm up and stretch before diving into a daily HIIT workout or reviving your pre-pandemic Pilates practice. Mars in your anxious sixth house can make you accident prone especially if you're multitasking. Slow down. Your spring awakening begins on April 19th when the sun blazes into Taurus for a month, heating up your fifth house of fun and pleasure. Shake off those homebody vibes, dress up, go out to eat safely or if you can buy yourself something glam and even a little decadent. Your creativity and desire to connect get dialed up during Taurus season. Let that lesser seen wild side come out and play. Okay, let's look at love and romance. Here we go. So, you may be feeling a little raw and more sensitive for the first half of the month, possibly tempted to fly under the radar. Both love planets, Venus and Mars, are emphasizing self-care. 
Venus is in Aries and your domestic thin-skinned fourth house until April 14th and Mars is in Gemini and your wellness sector until April 23rd taking care of numero uno is the most important love affair you can cultivate now you'll want to be well rested and ready for action in the second half of the month though. On April 14th, Venus relocates to Taurus and your fifth house of passion and pleasure until May 8th. Spring fever arrives just as things really start to blossom, making now a great time to dress up and head out for some safe flirting and mingling and possibly a whole lot more. Things could turn official or heat up if you're coupled while Mars is in Cancer from April 23rd to June 11th, activating your seventh house of commitments. Couples may bicker more but will also work out their differences in the bedroom. A word to the wise, you don't have to pick a fight to have amazing makeup sex. So try to stoke the passion while keeping the peace. Okay, don't listen to that if you're younger. Okay, Kelsey, Manon, Beth, and Jordan slash Elizabeth. These are your days. Love days are the 13th and the 18th. Your money days are the 25th and the 6th. Luck days are the 23rd and the 4th. And off days are the 16th, the 21st and the 2nd. Okay, let's move on to Aquarius. So for the Aquariuses, on Patreon I have one patron, Vendela on the 9th of February and then in the comments um, of last month's video we have Al who is on the 23rd of January and Lila, 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 I think Lila on the 28th of January so 2 January Aquarius is and 1 February so the 20th of January to the 18th of February. So this is for you guys. Time to flap your wings, Aquarius. With the sun in Aries and your social on the go third house until April 19th. You're ready to safely mix and mingle again. Even if it's largely virtual. Spend time exchanging ideas and connecting with kindred spirits. A collaboration could have a dynamic jewel written all over it. The plot might even take a romantic twist with Energizer Mars in Gemini, activating your fifth house of passion and self-expression until April 23rd. You're feeling confident and charismatic with the red planet in this head-turning zone. And others will certainly take notice. Hello, sizzling spring seduction. Oh, sounds fancy. Okay, ready for a style overhaul and a few new outfits. A little effort put into your appearance will pay off. The fans love you during this attention-grabbing Martian cycle and your creative talents and unapologetic wit could draw fame. Be ready to deliver a bold performance when the spotlight comes your way. Whew. Feeling worn out from all the excitement, you can settle into a more domestic groove again on April 19th when the sun moves into Taurus and your fourth house of home 
family and foundations. Devote the next four weeks to self-care and making sure everything at Aquarius Central is flowing smoothly. That sounds nicer than the last part to me. Okay, let's have a look at love and romance. Fun, flirty first half of the month could give love a fresh start for spring. Venus is in Aries and your social butterfly third house until April 14th, inspiring you to safely mingle, whether that's solo or with a fun plus one companion. For couples, this communicative cycle can help you broach any tough topics with harmonious, productive dialogue and come to a mutually acceptable resolution. With lusty Mars in Gemini and your passionate fifth house until April 23rd, you probably won't be short on admirers, sick of your elastic waistband pandemic wardrobe craving more excitement and novelty. This once every two years cycle wakes up your desire for fun, glamour and pleasure. While these may feel out of reach with so much of the world still shut down, you can find ways to safely pursue more joy. What outdoor activities are being held in your community? Or perhaps you can organize small group outings with your pod to places of natural beauty. And once Venus relocates to Taurus on April 14th through May 8th, you'll settle into a more pragmatic groove as she activates your sensitive fourth house of home and family. Whenever possible, take a pass on non-obligatory invites and prioritize rest, getting centered and self-care. Once Mars moves into Cancer and your sixth house of wellness on April 23rd to June 11th, you'll be all about trading hedonism for healthy habits. Watch out for a tendency to be critical and perfectionistic, though since your flaw finder will be dialed up high, get yourself summer ready now and once things open back up, prayer emoji, I think they meant to put the prayer emoji in there, you'll be ready for action. Days are the 16th and the 21st. Money days are the 27th and the 8th. Luck days are the 25th and the 6th. And your off days are the 18th, the 23rd, and the 4th. Okay, so let's move on to Pisces. So for you Pisces out there, from February 19th to March the 20th. So I have two March patrons um, that are Pisces. We have Elijah on the 3rd of March and we have Carly on the 4th of March. And then we have two slash three add-ons. Um, so comments from subscribers last month. We have Natalie on the 1st of March. Hi Natalie. Kendrick on the 7th of March. Hey Kendrick. And then the last one, I'm not really sure. It's either John on the 16th of March or some sort of religious thing, John 3, 16. I don't know. 
the message says something about the wrong wand and it literally says John 3 double dot thing colon 16 you know like it's a passage from the Bible John 3 16 I don't know so it's either John on the 16th of March or a religious thing either way this is for you too <laughs> okay so Elijah Carly Natalie Kendrick and John one step at a time will get you to your goals the month is off to a practical start as the sun visits Aries until April 19th heating up your productive second house of work and money after a busy birthday session last month you may have had a million ideas for what you want to do next once things start opening up again now it's time to take a few of those wishes and turn them into something tangible and potentially even profitable where could you streamline and simplify your life by seas turn your attention to your budget schedule and time management start some revitalizing new routines for springtime make space in your calendar by clearing away the lackluster commitments happiness and health first with energetic and sometimes stressful mars in gemini and your domestic fourth house until april 23rd your household could be a hotbed of activity on the plus side could be motivated to tackle a renovation project, shop for a new home or apartment, or resolve some family friction. Caveat, direct but diplomatic communication will be essential if you tackle any touchy topics. You'll have even more to say after April 19th when the sun begins a month-long trip through Taurus and your social communicative third house. Step away from your workspace and mix it up with walks, coffee meetups and any masked mingling you can do. People are your pleasure, so reconnect with kindred spirits and friends who inspire you to laugh and lighten up. That was quite nice. Let's have a look at love and romance. The first half of the month has a more serious vibe to it as Venus ambles through Aries and your second house of security until April 14th. You want to know where a relationship is going to make plans for the future or to settle into a routine with someone it's a good time for couples to tackle the more practical parts of your relationship even as you spoil yourself with a few luxuries during this sensual time until april 23rd lusty mars is rolling through gemini and activating your emotional domestic fourth house you might be a little internal and reflective during this six week cycle preferring solitude or more time for self care some fish will be thrilled to just turn up the sexy heat on the home front with your favorite plus one but those Netflix nights could become a thing of the past after April 14th when Venus moves into Taurus and your social third house giving you the urge to be anywhere but stuck at home once Mars moves into Cancer and your lusty fifth house you'll start turning heads and getting a serious bout of spring fever 
your desire for novelty, unwell, just your desire becomes extra potent now. Okay, that was quite interesting, guys. So that was for Elijah. Elijah. Carly. Carly. So for Natalie. Kendrick. And John. Okay, your love days are the 18th and the 23rd. Your money days are the 2nd. And the 11th. Your luck days are the 27th and the 8th. And your off days are the 